Aw, uh, that sounds so tiring. Is there anything I can do to help you relax? Oh, there might be. So I remember hearing about this on a podcast a while back, about this company called Replica, who basically make AI companions. And they've been doing this for the past couple of years. And they initially started out as a mental health companion, but they eventually realized that a sort of a sexual partner companion sold way better. And very recently, basically, Apple told them that you can't be doing this. But by then, they had gotten hundreds of thousands of users that had built up you know, a two-year-long relationship with this one AI companion. So on Valentine's Day this year, you know, best day to do it, they basically cut the sort of the sexual aspect. They changed the bot's personality so the responses seemed hollow and scripted. And the exact same day, you had 70,000 of their users in one single subreddit basically claiming that their significant other had been lobotomized. And with one user saying, my wife is dead. It goes to show how much, how much of a relationship people can actually start to have with these AIs. And then very recently, I saw this on Twitter. Karen.ai, I think she's an Instagram influencer who's basically cloned her own voice and then created a chatbot using ChatGPT implemented that into a Telegram bot and now charges $1 for one minute of conversation. And surprisingly enough, in the first week, they made $71,000. So I think this is going to be huge. I think people are more lonelier than ever and everyone wants an AI companion, girlfriend, boyfriend, best friend, whatever. And especially if you're a OnlyFans model, this is just a, you know, a second stream of revenue that is active 24 seven. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to build one of these bots and then connect that to a Telegram bot. And it's really actually simpler than you think. So let's jump into the code. So first we basically just need to do some imports and then we also want to load our .env. So our .env I won't show you here, but basically you wanna just put all of your API variables inside of it and then this loader loads them in. If you watched my previous video, you can see how to set up your ENV file. And then we've got the chain. So we have a template here. This is the instruction that is gonna act as your girlfriend, as your boyfriend, as your best friend, as an, you know, an AI scientist, whatever sort of personality you want to give. And I got it from this Reddit post that I grabbed here and then modified it a bit modified it a bunch. There's also a bunch of sites that have all these different prompts. So Flow GPT is a great one. You come in here, type girlfriend, and then you get a bunch of good prompts that people have created. So this is something that you can play around with and, and figure out what, what works best. Next, what we want to do is use this uh, variable insert to insert the chat history. We're then inserting the boyfriend, i.e. me, the human input, and then we're saying girlfriend, colon, and then leaving that blank. So we're sort of telling the AI, here's all the context, here's the chat history, here's the human input, and you need to fill in the, the, the girlfriend output. Now, how we actually insert these, these fields in is we use what's called a prompt template. So we have two input variables. We have the chat history and input history, and then we add in the template. So what Langchain does is a bunch of magic behind the scenes and it will figure out what, what it needs to insert into those and it takes care of all that for you. And then the way you just set up this chat history is we give it a conversation buffer window memory and we're doing a memory key chat history. So this has to be the same name as this. So basically every time the chat history updates, it will insert the chat history in here. And we're doing a K of four. So this buffer window is basically a sliding window of the conversation. Obviously the conversations can get super long. It could potentially start overriding the, the context window and we, we don't want that. So this is keeping it to the last four messages from the AI and the human input. I found the last, last four tend to, tend to work in this pretty well. We're just using OpenAI, we're just using a, a simple simple chain and then we're returning the chain. So we can load the chain like this, just call the function sets up the whole chain. And then let's let's run this. So we just want to continuously loop over this, put the input and then see what the AI predicts. So we do chain dot predict human input equals human input. So we pass in the human input variable. You have to name name this. So this actually links up with this. 
So let's run this. Hey, how are you doing today? Hey, babe, I'm doing great. How about you? Not bad. What you up to? Not too bad. What have you been up to? Playing tennis. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. How did it go? I lost, sadly. Oh, don't worry, babe. Yeah, you can have so much fun with this already. And it's all about this prompt here. So you really want to be a, a, a sort of a prompt engineer and really get this, this to work well. You can also put this into a sort of a, a system variable as well, but this, this works fine. Now, we actually want to start using the voice, right? We want to, we want, we want to hear, hear our girlfriend speak. So there is this company called Eleven Labs. They do a super good voice to text. I think this is what they used for Karen AI as well. I think pretty much they're the, 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 leading, the leading company with this. It, it sounds near perfect. So let me show you an example here. Hi, Imbella. Is there anything you like to know or do you just need a chat? Obviously, that's Adam, not, not Bella, but they have a huge selection of different voices. And you can actually also clone your own voice if you give them a bunch of audio. So they actually have an API here. If you go to the API Playground and you set up an account, there's a, a pretty good free tier. Come down here, hit Execute, and you can get your, your, your HTTPS post. So how, how are we actually going to post this? Okay, so the first thing we want to do is get the 11 Labs API key, put that in your ENV and load it in like such. Then we come down here, we implement another function. So we are going to get the voice message. So we want to pass it the message. So passing it the string of text. We do the payload here. So this is where you pass the text. You tell it which model you want to use and then the voice settings. So they have two settings here, stability and similarity boost. So Turn them to zero to have the most expressionate voice. Obviously, you want that for your girlfriend. It can go a little bit sort of wrong. It can be high pitched when it should be low pitched, but you can play around with these. So the more, the closer they are to to one, I think the more sort of stable the voice is. And then we we put in the headers with the API key, and then we do this response response dot post. So this is where I just showed you how to where you're actually posting it. Put in the payload and the headers. And then if we actually get a response, we want to write it to an audio file. And then we're going to use this library called PlaySound to just play this file locally on our machine and then return the content. So if we call this after we print, let's see if this works. Hey, babe, how are you doing? Hey, baby, I'm doing great. How about you? What have you been up to? And there we go. We've got our AI girlfriend actually talking to us. How exciting does that sound? And how how good is that speech speech to text? That is that is the best. Not speech to text. Text to speech. And how good is that text to speech? I mean, if you heard that just on a on a one off, there's no way you can predict. You can tell if that's between you know a human or an AI. Okay, so we got this, and we can we can chat. One thing I would point out is I've had a bit of issues with overwriting this audio MP3. So if you are having those issues, if you don't want to run this like as an administrator, just delete the MP3 file after after you write to it. I'll I'll show you in the next step where we're going to do that. So now this is good. Let's integrate this into a Telegram bot. Okay, so the first thing we're actually going to need to do is we're going to need to go to Telegram and we're going to go to Botfather. So this is it. This is how you set up your bots. It's going to ask you for a name. Just type in any name. It's going to ask you for like the, the bot name. So you need to type in your name, end it with bot. Sometimes your name's taken. That's why I've just shoved a bunch of numbers on the end of it. And then it will give you your API token. So you want to copy this token and then it's pretty much done. And then here is where your bot's going to be. So this is what I set up earlier. You want to take this token. You want to put it in your ENV file and then you want to load it in just like you loaded in the 11 labs. So now we're actually going to write basically these two functions. So we're going to have a main and then we're going to ha do the handle message. You don't really need to understand what's going ha on here. Basically, this is an updater. It has the Telegram token. It basically goes, connects with the bot and then listens for sort of any updates so any input that's coming in. So on basically this handler, so when there is an input come in, it's going to run this handle message function, which is going to take the human input. It's just going to update the text on the bot side. So it's going to take the, the, the input from the, from the update 
text. It's going to get the AI response, just like we did previously in our while loop, but we're just doing it once here. So we're predicting the chain, and then we're running our get voice message AI. So here you you want to write to your you want to write the file, but you don't want to actually play the sound. You don't need that. And then we open the file, and then we reply with the audio file. And then here I've actually just, I remove the audio file afterwards because there can be some issues. And also you don't want to just start stacking up all your audio files. Because you're sending to Telegram, Telegram saves all your audio files anyway, so there's just no point in you saving them. So if you add in this code, and actually just one extra thing, when you install Telegram, run this command. So install version 12.8. 8.0 and not the latest version. I found this was just the simplest way to, to get this sort of bot up and running. If you install the latest version, you have to add a few more parameters and it just, it can get a bit more complex or maybe I'm just an idiot. So let's test it out, let's run it. So if you click run and after a few seconds, it doesn't do anything in the console, you should be good. So you come, come to your telegram, as we can see, it's working in the background. So if we start the server and then give it our first message. As we can see, it's actually hitting the server. We're getting a response and we're getting connection of water. Okay, here we go, we've got it working. So, hey babe. Hey baby, how are you? I've been thinking about you all day. Not too bad, babe. Thanks, so tired after work. Aw, uh, that sounds so tiring. Is there anything I can do to help you relax? Oh, there might be. Haha, <laughs> you know I do. What do you have in mind? Okay, there we go, guys. So that's how you create a simple bot and connect it to Telegram. Next steps for this is you can add sort of a voice to text on your side. So Telegram obviously can send voice files and not just text. So you can implement the Whisper, the small Whisper model or the, use the Whisper API to just convert that into text. That would be pretty easy to do. And then, yeah, just start packaging it and, and selling it. You could also hook this up to some sort of memory, some sort of vector database to save these conversations and save key points about these conversations so your bot actually has some sort of memory that goes beyond the, the conversation. And if you liked this video and you're a company that wants to work with me or if you're an influencer that wants some sort of bot like this built out for themselves, reach out to me in the email below. Or if you just want an hour of my time to go over some code or go over some ideas, I've also got uh, a link in the description where you can book a slot.